one of the presidential candidates who uh, is now supporter, a strong supporter of Bola Tinumbu, has made a U-turn. He said, if they continue the way they are going, I have the feeling that they will fail woefully. Adi Wole, Adi Bayo. This is the man who, after election, he started singing the praises of Tinubu. Ah, Tinubu is the Messiah. This and this and this and this and that. Now, he don't the change much. That if things continue the way they are, that he has that a feeling that hey, this guy will fail woefully. In an interview with AITV, during the focus program, Adi Wole, Adi Bayo, the presidential candidate of the SDP in the 2023 election, expresses concern that the current government led by Tinubu is on a trajectory that could lead to its failure. He suggested that the government's current approach, which justifies its focus on big businesses, may not be effective and could result in a dismal outcome. He they eat the guy on it. Yeah, this is the man. We were prepared. He was fully prepared. He was fully prepared. He has reached the ground running. Oh my God. This man, he knows it. Follow who no road. I just mean I look at, there's one confident, one thing I know. Say this man, we know if he do nothing. Because now he's, he's, got, he's just kind of confused now. And for the fact that he wants to show some kind of ego, what he will plan with his team is going to be different from what he's doing. He will come out and say, this man, even at his old young age what did he do for the legations that is lying that he built Lagos? is it now that he's now fragile that uh, he has to be thinking back and forth back and forth back and forth you see what we're saying all of them they were they were shouting yes he's doing the right thing or he was doing the right thing at the beginning me i know say initial grab that because person will say won't give you clothes you need to know what he need wear first before you go when he don't promise he said i won't give you clothes that is exactly the situation we are in Somebody who, even in the small space of Lagos, the standard of living of the people is zero. Is that the same person that wants to think about your life? During the interview, Adebayo elaborated on his views, claiming that the government appears to be favoring the arrangements of certain Nigerian billionaires at the expense of improving the lives of everyday citizens. He criticized the government's priorities, noting that while it aims to make the wealthy as prosperous as figures like big gates it neglects the well-being of essential workers such as teachers barbers and drivers essentially widening the social economic gap in the country also adebayo expressed skepticism regarding the government's argument that supporting big business since will lead to job creation and uh, increased government revenue he challenged the authorities to provide concrete evidence of any country where this approach has successfully been implemented. Drawing attention to Nigeria's abundant resources and human capital, Adebayo argued that the country possesses all the necessary elements for its own economic development. He emphasized that relying on external investors to develop the economy might not be the most prudent course of action. He urged the government to reconsider its current strategies and to develop a backup plan. He emphasized that his concerns were not driven by animosity towards the government but rather stemmed from a genuine belief that their current approach is fundamentally flawed and destined for failure. Adebayo cautioned that time is not yet lost for the government to reevaluate its policies and adopt more effective measures. He underscored his deep conviction that if the government persists with its current trajectory, it will ultimately meet the failure due to the adoption of unsustainable and effective models. When they were talking about, oh, you reduce the tax of a uh, one to one thing, all of them were, sh were shouting. I said, at the end of the day, those who you think that you are favoring, are they going to favor the masses, the general masses? Your guess is as good as mine. NMPC is telling us the reason why they increase the fuel price because of market forces. What is driving the market forces? That's the thing that we need to explain to Nigerians. So it's ground running, it's ground running. Now we do so. So you are not feeling the pain. Shebi, you call him your Messiah, Adibayo. You call Tinubu your Messiah. Has APC ever done anything right? This government will favor me and my family. Where are they? It's like Tinubu thought Nigeria as a country was just like Lagos State. He governed for eight years with multiple policies. He should understand that population in Lagos is not up to 
twelve percent of Nigeria's of total population. So he needs to calm down his policies and study what Nigeria uh what and what it will take. I believe knew why I took his time and managed time without removing subsidy. Hmm. You would have taken his time to to just make sure. Of course, Tinu Bwari don't think they go remove her. People would have been waiting. Okay, maybe in the first year of a of a Tinumbu or in the first six months, he will be studying everything. How do we do it? But no, forget. Don't wait for them to fail. They have already failed woefully. Tinumbu cannot do more than Buhari. Instead, he's going to turn Nigeria upside down within six months. If not that the presidency and the legislators are insensitive, all the billions they mark for themselves will go a long way solving the electricity problem. What is shame, Nigeria politicians? So now, what is shame? Why are you people crying of hardship when the main music is about to start? The only promise he made to you is Agbadu. Why then are you people expecting more from Nigeria? Now what for now? Hmm. Top, top on the agenda of this country is petroleum or subsidy. Sinubu has been traveling abroad since he got in the seat if presidency, uh, seat of presidency, but he has never seated visited any of the refinery uh, to get first-hand information and what is really going on. I work at the refinery as it is. The management of NNPC deliberately key the refinery to push the agenda of subsidy. Mm. Oh, wow.